here is the quickest and easiest way to make your own uh, honeycomb Dalgona from Squid Game. Get the image of the honeycomb from Google, and I just used the content aware to paint out the umbrella shape that was in there and paste in my own shape as pixels, make it about as big as I need it, and press enter. Then I press command T so that I can use these handlebars to stretch it into the perspective that I want. So if you hold command you, or I think it's control on PC, you can drag these points here and adjust how you want to transform this and stretch it into the perspective that you need for the honeycomb. So then just take your eyedropper tool and select the darkest part of the honeycomb. Press X to shift to your other color in your palette and select a lighter color. And then on your artwork layer, lock the transparent pixels, choose your gradient fill, and just fill this in with those colors that you chose. Now press Command U for hue saturation and turn your lightness down so that it darkens it up just a little bit. So now this is your base of this shape here. So now press on your effects layer and go to bevel and emboss. Make sure that your settings are set to emboss and change the depth to whatever you need it to be and the size just enough so that you get a little bit of this white highlight out here and leave your soften just a little bit above your size. Click OK. And now you can actually keep those pixels locked and go in with maybe even a lighter color and with a feathered brush paint up here on the top to make the top part just a tiny bit lighter in color. Now right click on your layer and convert to smart object. Then go up to filter and select add noise, make it something pretty small. It depends on the resolution of your page, but uh, mine's down to about nine. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go back up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and turn this pretty far down, maybe to like 0.4 or 5. Click OK. Now, from here, you can copy this layer and click rasterize so that all of those effects will be applied and then fill this with white. So press um, option shift delete and it'll fill the entire thing with white. Change the blending mode to overlay and click and drag this just up to the top and to the right of your artwork. Turn the opacity way, way down. And you can even adjust a little bit more of where it sits and you can see that it gives it that nice natural highlight. And that's it. That's how you make a realistic honeycomb from Squid Game.